I got a question today from a comment, and the question was, I have five VMs out there that I've backed up. It's one backup job, and there's five VMs aside backup job. And I want to be able to just delete one VM, not the other four VMs, let's say, in the backup job. Now, how would I do that? I'm going to show you the Hyper-V how to do it. Now, VM is a little different. VMware is a little different, obviously. But I'm going to show you in Hyper-V. Okay. So first of all, we're in a comm server, of course. And if we click on comm serve and we see our client groups, and this is my Hyper-V I'm going to be actually using from, Hyper-V here. So the actual job itself, so we can we can use like 20, 20, 2090, let's, let's try that one. 2090, click on video machine status, make this a little bigger. And we're going to just delete so the VM job ID right here. Let's say, let's say 2093, let's delete that one. So if we come over here to our actual storage policy here. So this is a storage policy primary. Right click on it. Select jobs. Then the select time frame or use a different time range essentially and then select advanced. Include age jobs. Okay. Okay. So we see our jobs now. We want to delete 2093, I believe, right? So we're going to right-click on the job. We're going to select Delete Job. And it's going to say, yes, I want to run. And then I can give a reason if I want to. I don't have to give a reason. And I'm going to click OK. And it's going to prompt me to actually put in Erase and Reuse Media. Select OK. It's fine. Then I go to my actual job itself, and you see right here 2093. It's actually showed it has been. I double click on it, it's going to grayed out a little bit. See here, it's actually been deta um, detailed. So the job has actually been disabled, job is aged, details, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's how you do it. That's how you actually delete a job from a bunch of jobs. One particular VM from a set of backups. Thanks a lot.